And then you've got the Israeli army, which I like to refer to as one of the most, one of the best trained, best equipped, best fed terrorist organizations in the world. And yes, they have generals and they have nice uniforms, but their entire, their entire uh, purpose is terrorism. And just as one example, I'll give you one example. Almost exactly four years ago, as Israel began its attack on Gaza, September the 27th, 2008, at 11.25 in the morning. What I refer to as the most shameful day in the Jewish history. The most shameful day in the history of the Jewish people. Israel began carpet bombing Gaza and on the first day of a, what was to be a 21 day attack, they dropped 100 tons of bombs. Okay, a one ton bomb will decimate an entire city block. Gaza is one of the most densely populated places in the world. 800,000 children live in Gaza. 11.25 is exactly the time when the morning school shift and the afternoon school shift change. So all the kids are in the streets. All the children are on the streets. That was the moment decided by the decision makers in Israel to begin the attack. This was the first day of a 21 day slaughter that had absolutely no justification. If that's not terrorism, I don't know what is. And this is how the state of Israel manages to control the different populations. And somehow still keep up this very sweet liberal kind of face to everything.